Hello everyone, I am Basin Muhammad and you are watching my channel English Language and Literature. Welcome back to another lecture. Friends, today we will continue our discussion on reading skills. We are going to talk more about the supporting details. What we are doing today is to identify the supporting details. So, our today's lecture is all about identifying the supporting details in a paragraph text or any selection uh, i'm pretty sure that you all are aware or you all are familiar with the term the main idea i said in the previous lecture that it is a kind of an umbrella or blanket term it is a kind of general statement that covers all the material in the paragraph like examples reasons facts and other specific details in case you have missed the first lectures uh, i have given link of them in the description below first you watch them then come to this lecture because it is a kind of chain if you miss the first lectures you won't get anything from these uh, from the upcoming lectures so it is a general statement main idea is a general statement and it covers everything like examples facts reasons and other specific details in a paragraph or any text or any piece of text so let's come to the supporting details what is the supporting detail all the specific details uh, which I told you already that uh, this specific details like examples, facts, reasons are also called the supporting details. Without supporting details, uh, it, it would be difficult to fully understand the main idea. In order to make it more clear, let us look at this description or illustration. To illustrate, imagine a friend saying to you my sociology class is very tough you would understand the general idea that your friend finds his sociology class demanding or difficult or tough but you wouldn't understand exactly why your friend might then go on to clarify with some supporting details and he will give you some additional information regarding the toughness of the sociology so let's see what he is saying again we have to read about a hundred pages each week in addition we have to hand in a report every monday and take a quiz every friday we also have to write a longer paper by the end of the semester uh, you got that your friend is facing a kind of difficulty in sociology but why is he feeling difficulty the supporting details are telling you the reasons that are helping you to understand the main idea more clearly so these supporting details clarify your friend's general idea or his comment or his main idea then his sociology class is tough. Now you better understand what your friend means by tough. In this manner, supporting details provide additional information that is required to make sense of um, sense of a main idea. In this manner, supporting details provide additional information that is required to make sense of a main idea in this manner supporting details provide additional information that is required to make sense of a main idea dear friends let's talk more about the supporting details so we have two types of supporting details major supporting details and minor supporting details the major details are the primary points that support the main idea 
So major points support the main idea. If you talk about the minor uh, minor points or minor details, major details are expanded by the minor supporting details. So main idea is supported by major supporting details and major supporting detail is uh, supported by minor supporting details. Dear viewers, an important reading skill is the ability to find these major details and to separate them from the minor details. To get a better idea of how major and minor supporting details function, see this illustration. We have main idea here. Studies reveal that people's first names have an influence on them. Other sentence makes us think that what types of influences the writer is thinking of. This is where the supporting details, major and minor, come in and play their role. Let's read the main. Let's see this main idea with major detail. So studies reveal that people's first names can have an influence on them. Some names reflect on people in a positive way. However, other names can have a negative impact. Now we have better idea of what the main idea means. But usually, the major details themselves are very general and need further explanation. This is where the minor details come in to play their role. Let me tell you that major details introduce new points and minor details elaborate on those points. Look at the main idea with major and minor details now. Studies reveal that people's first names can have an influence on them. Some names reflect on people in a positive way. For example, one survey showed that American men consider the name Susan to be very sexy. And participants in the British, British study thought Tony to be the name of someone very friendly. However, other names can have a negative impact. In one study, for instance, teachers gave lower grades to essays supposedly written by boys named Hubert and Elmer than to the very same essays when they were credited to boys with more popular names. Another study found that girls with unpopular names did worse on IQ and achievement Testers that girls with more appealing names. Now the major and minor details work together to give us a better understanding of the main idea. The relationship between main idea and its major and minor details can be seen in this outline. In this outline, we have the main idea. Studies reveal that people's first names can have an influence on them. Positive and negative influences are the major details. The names Susan to be sexy and Tony to be friendly are minor details of this positive influence, of this major detail, of this major detail positive influences. Whereas the essays written by Hobart and Elmer were given lower grades but boys with more popular names but boys with more popular names were given higher grades for the same essay and if you talk about the girls with unpopular names did worse test performance girls with unpopular names did worse test performance are are minor details of this major detail negative influences hope everything is clear to you now
And this was all for today's lecture. Thank you for watching. But before leaving, I would say that practice makes the man perfect. Without practice, you will never achieve the perfection. Read newspaper articles and try to find the main ideas and their supporting details, major and minor details both. This will help you a lot. For that purpose, I am also attaching uh, a practice exercise in the description below. See you next video. Bye-bye.